Okay, this is going to be a quick overview of a new knife that I just got today. It's called a Kershaw Asset and it just arrived today. It's going to be a good tool in the war against zombies and here's another one I just got before I get into the knife. This is an old baseball bat that I got. I found at a yard sale for 50 cents and the only thing I had to do was I cut off about four inches of this part, the top of it, because it was all chipped up. Somebody was uh, hacking on it with a knife or, or a hatchet or something. And I did a paint job to it. But now it's another tool in the war against zombies. Nice. Okay, the uh, knife that I just got, I got from a place on Amazon called the scopestop.com. Um, really good company. They seem to have the best prices and their shipping is just really fast. It takes about uh, three days, maybe less than that. And let's open this thing up. Yeah, it's called a Kershaw Asset. A-S-S-E-T. Okay, Kershaw has been putting out some uh, new knives and they're kind of all in the similar they all kind of look like the same, not the same knife, but they're similar, okay? Now this is the asset. Uh, and I, I wrote down a few of the uh, particulars so you could see what, what they were. And I like that blade shape. Wow, that's really in a pretty aggressive, um, I guess. <laughs> that's a good term, aggressive blade shape. Is that like a bad gun? Okay, this is it. It's got uh, the speed safe assisted opening flipper and I do like the flippers there's the little flipper and it's got this opening uh, assist really fast and the blade shape is called a uh, trailing point it's called a trailing point blade it's made of 8 CR 13 MOV steel it's heat treated bead blasted the, bl the blade is heat treated and bead blasted uh, it is made in China so that's one point against it but you know um, I got it for from the scope stop like I said at a really good price of the total price was twenty four dollars a little less than twenty four dollars so I think that's a really great deal uh, <clears throat> the uh, handle is made of glass filled nylon which is plastic it, yeah the overall uh, the blade length is three and one quarter inches overall length is seven and seven eighths so it's it's a long one. It's as long as the compound. That's the Kershaw compound, and they look they look very similar. I mean, the handles are uh, extremely similar, and of course the blade shapes are different. I like them both. I really like the compound. And the first one I got in the line was the the pack rat. Now this pack rat's got the assisted opening too, but it's quite a bit shorter than the compound or the asset. You can see it's quite a bit shorter. And this has the uh, G10 scales. And earlier this year I got the Kershaw Clash. That also has the assisted opening. And I'm not sure what kind of scales they have on I think they're just plastic. Sorry, GFN or whatever. And uh, it's a little bit shorter. It looks like it's about uh, maybe an inch shorter. That's the Kershaw Clash right there. And let's get back to the Kershaw Asset. Uh, the blade is three and a quarter inches long, overall length seven and seven eighth inches, weight of 3.8 ounces. And one thing I do like about it, it has tip up or tip down carry. I always change my pocket clip to tip up, like I change that one and that one. These are all tip up. That's the way I like to carry my blades. And this is, has a different looks like it's, it's going to be a bit sturdier. This is very different. I, this is a, like a cheap, uh, thin uh, pocket clip. And this one looks, well, it looks like a couple of different manufacturers. Um, I'm not sure what, but it looks like it's going to be a little bit sturdier. It's held on by three screws. And I can't tell if they're uh, Allen head. I haven't looked at them close enough to tell if they're. I think they're Allen head. Anyway, it's good that there are three screws instead of two. And I'm going to change them to tip up. Like I said, it's it's really fast. I like that blade shape. Um, so there's another one I might buy in the same line. It's called a Tremor. 
just haven't gotten around to buy it. It's, it's about, I think that's a little bit more expensive, maybe in the $35 range. But that is uh, one of my new zombie killers. Of course, it'll never be as good as the uh, K-Bar Zombie Killer, which is actually called the uh, K-Bar Zombie Killer. The only thing bad about this is it's not speed safe or assisted opening, but it is a cool knife. Okay, and uh, I don't know what the temperature is in your area, but even Wiley e. Coyote thinks it's too hot around here. And one more, this is another wood project I have in mind, and uh, all I can say is it's going to be very colorful, and Andy Warhol, Warhol, Andy Warhol, was the uh, inspiration for this. I'll explain that later when it gets uh, <clears throat> gets a little bit further along. But that is uh, the new Kershaw asset. It's a nice little knife, even though it's made in China. Fast deploying. Dig that blade shape. Really nice. Yeah, I like that blade shape. Okay, that's it. Knuckle bump.